Boom, peace, intro, what's up guys? Well, Apache helicopter's going. Sorry, a little bit chilly here today. Got some packages in. Um, some I ordered, some are from people. I don't know if I can get them all open today. I have a lot of them down there. So we probably should get right to it. I probably shouldn't waste <clears throat> a bunch of time. First one is from our buddy, Mr. Badger. Call him Badge. Pretty sure I know what it is. He, he found some things and told me he was going to send them to me because I don't have that particular store around me. Oh, check this out. Oh, right on. United Auto Workers Local 892 President Larry Robinson pin. <laughs> right on. I'm Local Sheet Metal Workers number two. Let's see here. One and two. All right. Right on. Surely he don't mind people knowing because, uh, you know, this is an old card. There's old Badger right there. Old Greg Badger. That's our buddy Badge. Of course, I believe he's retired from the Union now. I'm telling you, man, unions, guys, they'll hook you up. I know there's a lot of people that don't oh, what a union. Oh, yeah. you know, that's so cool. That's cool. It's up to you. <clears throat> they do give you better wages, that's for sure. Why do you think a lot of people in government want to tear them down? Matter of fact, I can remember, what was it, when Bush was in there? And everything was being blamed on the high price of a truck. is because, you know, the United Auto Workers are making too much money. So right here in Kansas City, they cut the pay of a lot of them. They bought out the rest of them, so so they'd leave, so they didn't have to pay them anymore. They 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 got a pay cut for all the new ones. How much is a truck now? Huh? Did that save you any money? No, didn't save you any money. Yeah, they, they we already know how that goes. That's what they do. It's always about giving them more and you less. I mean, I do get the, you know, it cracks me up like a lot. Of, I understand a lot of the complaining over the $15 an hour deal. What? You want to give people at McDonald's $15 an hour? We can't afford that. I mean, I understand basically coming from, you know, when I first started welding, you was lucky to get a $15 an hour, an hour job welding. So, you know, it, it, you know, I kind of understand that how you wouldn't want to just give somebody at McDonald's $15 an hour to say, hey, do you need fries with that? But what's what's really troubling to a lot of companies, not just McDonald's, is especially Walmart. They don't pay much at all. I mean, I think I heard some lady last week told me she gets paid $14 an hour for Walmart to go through and pull orders when you order online. You know how much Walmart makes annually? You would You would be shocked. You would be shocked at just the tax bonuses, not tax cuts, the tax bonuses Walmart gets from the government. Look that up, because they're also in on the federal government's facial recognition program. That's why they apprehend so many criminals at Walmarts across the country. A lot of people don't know that. Look that up. Yeah. Um, it's all, They were all part of the program. That's what their face re facial recognition cameras are tied into. So a lot of people they can't find, you know, when you mess up and go to Walmart, it picks you up. Boom. They'll notify authorities. They're not supposed to approach you, but they're supposed to notify the authorities. And depending on how wanted you are is how fast they'll get there to get you. You'd be surprised how many. But anyway, they get money for that. So it really cracks me up back to the point is, is when they say a company like that, you know, a corporation, oh, we can't pay that. But then just their CEO alone will get a hundred million dollar bonus that year. Not his wage, that was his bonus. Yeah, we can't give you that much money, but we're gonna give one man a hundred million dollars. Now, I know I can't speak for every man on this earth, but I can tell you this right now. I have no use for one hundred million dollars. 
and if you gave me $100 million, the way I live, I would never spend it. And I would be done after that. I would not need to go work anywhere again. Matter of fact, you give me $1 million right now and I'll retire. Shoot, you just give me $500,000 and I'll retire. So like I said, if they can call it capitalism, I understand capitalism. I'm, I'm not against capitalism. But come on, who really needs $100 million? You're just, you're, that's just greedy. So I kind of get the, the both ways thing. But anyway, look how I done dripped it off. All because of the union. I remember that. I was in the union when they cut the United Auto Workers pay like that. And I was afraid it was going to happen to us as well. You know, it's just ridiculous, man. Because it didn't save you. The price of a truck is double now. Double what it was. See, and that's how they always do you. Anyway, let's get back to the cars. Look at me. I just wasted five minutes again. Golly, guys. Sorry. Merry Christmas. Thank you for the Lincoln and completing my convertible series. Thank you for always telling it like it is or like it should be. Oh, <laughs> good. Thanks, buddy. I'm glad at least you appreciate what I just said, probably. I have been collecting the Kroger exclusives since they came out. For this group, came out for this group, but have failed to find the yellow GMC Cyclone. I will keep hunting. Right on, brother. And, uh, there's another one of our Mr. Badger, and we're probably closer to retirement. You can see the young badge and the older badge. See? That's where a union will carry you all the way through. I've been in mine almost 20 years now. Well, I guess it has been 20. And uh, I can't complain about it. Long as I've never worked at anywhere longer, and I've been working since, like I said, I was 12, full time at 15. I'll keep hunting for it, and when I find it, I will send it your way to complete your collection. I sent you a 55 Chevy in pieces, hoping you could use it for one of your great customs. The way I sent it to you is just the way I received it. Merry Christmas to you and yours, my friend, Greg Badger. Mr. Badger. Well, Merry Christmas to you too, buddy, and thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, I see. He did. Pretty beat up. No interior. Sure I'd come up with one. I'm not sure. I think somebody cut that hole in the hood. Pretty sure that hood... I'm pretty sure they cut that hole in the hood. Never know. Might be able to make something out of that. Apache helicopter is down. Might be able to make something out of that. We will see. Right on. All right. There's one of them. Formula drift. Right on. Thanks, buddy. And the uh, Lencia Delta Integrale. Whatever, you know, that car. Sweet. Got the red one. Kroger exclusives. Oh, now that one, I remember that, seeing that one. I was like, I'd sure like to get that one. And, uh, the 87 Buick Regal GNX. Right on. Thanks, buddy. Three Kroger exclusives right there. I'll grab another one here. And sorry, guys, about the union rant and the government rant. Just telling you like it is. That's how they always do you. Pro I promise you this. Anytime they say it's good for you and it's better for you, you can trust me when I say that's bull. They are never thinking about your best interest when they say anything. And you can bet on that. All right, this one. I went right to it because I thought it was one I ordered, but no. This one is, I do not know who this is from. I 
I do recognize this address because I've sent something to it before, but there is no name on it. I think I might know who this is. Hey James, just a little something for you and your granddaughter plus the decals. Oh, and a bag of air in case you run out. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I think this might be Mr. Deavers. Not sure. I should think I, I've sent stuff to him several times. You think I would remember his address, but it may not. It may not be. Oh, it is not. I know who this is. I know exactly who it is as soon as I've seen the decals. This is uh, DKS, DKS Creates. That Dan. That Dan. He sent me some decals that I'm going to use for a, a build. Thanks, buddy. And uh, sent something here. Okay. Sent a, a gasser wagon that I could use for a build. And, or I don't, I don't know if my granddaughter would want that. And then an extra car. I don't recognize this matchbox. I don't think I grabbed that one. It's an older one. But I'll see if she wants that. I don't. Doesn't matter to me. I'll see if she wants them both. Don't matter to me. Appreciate that. D DKS Creates. Pretty sure is the name. Um. I recognize it only because of them decals. He didn't put no name on it at all. And Dan, I I don't really remember names like that necessarily, you know. Um, got some more here. I got one from our buddy Alex Long. He just bought um, <clears throat> he bought that purple or the red 56 panel I just did with the Executive Suite Army decals on it. And he also sent this is a five pack fuel set. It's the fuel set, you know, the 83 Silverado and all the other cars. He sent me that too. Um, I already have it though. And so I um, asked him about gifting it or actually he told me to gift it. And I responded back to him that if he wants me to send it back to him, I can. Or I can gift it to, uh, you know, somebody. Like our buddy McNasty, who I was pretty sure was looking for it. I, I thought he said something a while back, but I couldn't remember for sure. And then uh, Alex said, yeah, that's great. That'd be awesome. So I let McNasty know that uh, Mr. Long said, go ahead and send it to McNasty. So, this is in McNasty's pile of stuff over here, and we'll go to him. So, once again, we could thank Mr. Long for that. But, back to the point, is he sent me a pretty big box over here, and I don't know that I'm going to be able to get to that. That may be its own video, because it's, it's pretty big. But, yeah, this is one I ordered right here. Seen it online. Got her pretty cheap. Like... 15 bucks and uh, so I went ahead and grabbed it it was the Chevelle and uh, so I was like right on Let's see if I can get it out of there without messing it up and uh, oh bummer look it's busted blisters busted Ain't that a bummer. Oh well. In a protector case and still has a busted blister. 
But anyway, I got that. Chevelle. Yeah, I guess it's a 50-50. I had, I let a, I read a lot of the reviews on buying them cars off the Walmart site, and a lot of people said they're coming in destroyed and everything else. But I had a lot of, I had other people tell me that they were coming in fine. So, you know, who knows? Now we got another one here from our buddy, Mr. Gary Slints. I don't recall him saying he was sending me anything, so I'm not sure what it is. It's a fairly good sized box here, so it must be something kind of different. Because I didn't hear anything about this. And, uh, so let's just see what we got here. I see a bunch of peanuts for sure. Okay, I think I can get her out of here. Looks like... Looks like some kind of photo, maybe, or something. He's got it protected in the front so that... I guess the glass doesn't get broke. Let's see what we got going on here. Merry Christmas! When I was at the strip, a guy had this on his shirt, so I got the image off a website. I put on a couple extra copies under it in case you want to color one in, like the bad man, yellow. <clears throat> Have a great holiday season. Gary Slints. All right. Gasser Station. Gasser's forever. Not Station. Gasser Nation. Dot net. Gasser's Rule. Check it out. Right on. Cool. I'll have to find somewhere to hang that. And he's got one underneath the color, he says. Right on. Um, I, better, I think that's all that's in there. I don't see why there'd be anything else. That's plenty, but let me pour this popcorn out of it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Plenty. I don't mean that's it like, what, that's it? I mean like, I'm not missing nothing in there. Kind of sucks when you get something from somebody and you, you miss something and you know they're sitting there watching, thinking, Dude, you didn't, dude, you didn't get it all. It's in the box. It's in the box. Anyway, thanks, buddy. That's cool. I'll find somewhere to hang that. Now I got this big one here from Mr. Long. Um, golly. I can't believe it costs that much to ship that, buddy. Holy cow. Man, I'm almost 20 minutes, man. I don't know. Man, this is pretty big and pretty heavy. I'm thinking I probably should make a different video for that because there may be a lot of stuff in there that I need to go through or something. So, I probably better do that. Um, I'll tell you this much, guys. Man, I can't believe that, buddy. Holy cow, man. Spent like $45 shipping that to me. What in the world? Why would it cost that much? Eleven pounds. Oh, you know, I think I remember him saying something he was going to put in there. That That's the weight right there. That's probably a lot of the extra weight. I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, guys. I shouldn't even say anything about that one. I'm going to make a different video for that because I'm coming up on 20 minutes. And this big box is probably, it, you know, I need to go through. We're going to have to see what's in there when we open it. So I'll leave her right here. I'm not going to open her yet. and We'll cut her open on another video. 
And I still, my RLC snowman is supposed to come in today. As well as my Batmobile is supposed to be out for delivery today, finally. So we'll see if those show up. And if they do, um, maybe I can show those real quick too. And uh, right before I open this. I do have a few more of the Walmart RLCs I ordered. But I don't think they're going to come in for a few days. And I hope they don't come in busted. Um, so I guess we'll see. It's really a bummer that blister got busted. But, okay. Well, thanks, Mr. Badger. Thanks, Dan. DKS, DKS Creates. I appreciate that. Appreciate all that extra stuff. Merry Christmas to you guys as well. And uh, we'll see you next time uh, when I open this video. Or when I open this box on the next video. So... Thanks. Peace. Outro.